Do you want your love to last? Do you want your marriage to get stronger? Maybe even try to save your marriage if it's not doing well? Do you want to get your man or your woman to start loving you and keep loving you? Well, I want to give you three simple little techniques to do. Three simple behaviors, little tricks that can make a huge difference in your marriage. Plus, I'll just spend a little time helping you understand the rationale of why these things work that can really create a solid foundation for your marriage and for your relationship. Stay tuned and I'll tell you more. Hi, I'm Dr. Monty, Dr. Monty Miller. I'm a clinical psychologist. I work here in San Antonio, um, do online counseling throughout the state of Texas. I've been working for over 20 years trying to help people who've gone through severe storms in their lives, terrible losses, and, and working on people with their relationships. I've been studying relationships since I was 15 years old. Um, what kind of geek studies uh, relationships on a Christian perspective when they're 15 years old, but I did, so I'm weird. But I love relationships and I love helping people to learn to love each other. It's a complicated thing and marriage is never easy, but you can do it. And if you just learn some simple tricks, it can help you. You can't always control your spouse or your partner, but doing these techniques, I think, will help them want to love you back as well. If you could, subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the little bell notification to get notifications of future videos. Please hit the thumbs up to let me know you like it. It makes a huge difference, not just me personally, but makes a huge difference to YouTube, who will then show this to more people. Watch until the end, because i got some, some concepts that are really underlying these trips, at, even at the very end. So please, please do all that stuff and help me out. All right, what are the three tips and tricks? Well, the first one is just simply touch. A touch just goes a long way. And it's amazing how many times you can go through a marriage, day in, day out, and not do some of these behaviors I'm gonna tell you about, especially touch. Okay, you may have sex and you touch then. You may touch when you have to, but you know, I'm talking about intentional touching. Just a, a hand, holding a hand, a stroke, a caress, a little just light massage. Those things can make a huge difference. Did you know that studies have shown scientifically, medically, that the more people have touches, meaningful, loving touches, the healthier they are, the happier they are, they can measure the chemicals in your brain and see that they improve and get better. Just a hug. You come back from the end of the workday, give each other a hug. Uh, just a certain little massage on the back of the shoulders. Um, just caressing their back, rubbing, you know, you're sitting next to them in the car or on the couch. Just rub their leg for a little bit. Just let them know you're there and that you're touching them, that you're loving them, that you're thinking about them. It makes a huge difference. Okay, the second technique that's real simple is eye contact. I know it sounds simple. We go by each other all the time. Of course, you're looking at them. They're looking at you. But how many times do you make directly eye contact where you look into their eyes and you just, you know, you show them, I love you and I care about you. You're important to me. You know, they say the, the eyes are the windows to the soul. And that's so true. There's something about that connection with another person looking into their eyes. Not saying anything, not talking, just looking at each other, smiling. You can't help but connect a little bit like that. So there's something psychological I can't even explain it. It's, you know, it's about touch and with eye contact. There's something about that that conveys love on a supernatural spiritual level. Something about the way God made us to be in fellowship like that. And it's so shocking that so many marriage couples, even when they love each other and have an okay marriage, they don't do those simple things. They can go several days without really looking at each other, without just pausing, stopping life. Life is hectic, life is crazy, but everybody can take a few moments out of your day just to stop and connect with your partner again before you leave for work in the morning. Even if you're waking the other person up before you leave, just look them in the eye and say, I love you. Just when you get back today, give them that big hug, give them that touch, and then look them in the eye and say, I love you. Maybe throughout the night, the evening, but especially before you go to bed at night. Whether they make love or not, um, and especially if you're making love, look them in the eye and have that connection with them. It's so incredibly important and so powerful. You might be frustrated because, okay, you want to do things to help the marriage, but they're not really doing their part to help. I understand that. It's so hard to control the other spouse. I know. I get that. No matter how much you know or how much you try, sometimes you just can't make the other person love you back like you want. But doing these things can make a powerful difference in helping them want to love you back. 
You're not making them. You're not forcing them. You're not telling them what to do. You're just giving them that connection, that love. Don't be surprised if they start wanting to give that back to you again. And you don't, this is not something you have to be hard and force them on. Just say, just stop and look. Smile and say, I love you. Even if you're mad at them, even if you're upset, even if you've been hurt. Um, it's a whole nother concept of marital advice, relationship advice, to be able to sit there and say, you know, what do you do when you're arguing and you're fighting? And how can you make that better? And why, you know, it's, it's a tit for tat thing. We hurt, we've been hurt by them, we want to hurt them back. I understand that, it's hard, but if you want to be happy, it's all about your happiness, right? And it's more than that. But I do want y'all to be happy. And if you want to be happy, love them first, even though they're not fully loving you. They will start giving you the love back that's what you're wanting, and that's what will make you happy. Okay, the third thing, and okay, it's not really just one thing. This last category could fall into a whole bunch of behaviors, but it's the point of the matter that I wanted to get across, is doing something just little, little thing to show them you're thinking about them. During a little text during the day, just with a little kiss icon, emoticon, um, just saying I love you, I'm thinking about you, just those little things. Maybe writing a little message in the, and leaving it for them in the car, saying I love you, thinking about you today, have a good day, you know, rock your job today, you know, appreciate you with the kids, those kind of little things. Um, you're at the store, pick out a little something that you know that they like to let them know you're thinking about them. My wife's really good at doing that stuff. Um, but again, just during the day, when you're there in the evening, watching, doing the taking care of the kids, doing the laundry, watching TV together, just look over and say, I love you. Just say, hey, just want to let you know. I'm thinking about you. You know, I, I adore you. You know, of course, flowers are great, a little gift, a little present, but it's not about the presents. Little presents are great, not because it's a material thing, it's because they let them know you're thinking about them. That's what makes a present great, is not the material stuff, it's the thought behind it. So that's kind of the third thing, which can incorporate a whole bunch of little behaviors, but just a small little thing, just every day, every couple of days even, once a week, do something out of the ordinary, just let them know you love them, a little card, a little note. It can make a huge difference. Okay, why do these three things work? What is the concept behind it? Well, a couple things is, you know, you get into a marriage because you want to be with this person. You want to love them and you want them to love you back. Why just become a friend who's just a partner who you just happen to share the same house with and going through the same routine with? You want to have that connection with the person. We want that intimacy. So when you do these little techniques and thing is you're, you're saying, I'm still here for you. I care about you. I'm devoted to you. Your happiness is my happiness. We all want loved, right? To be loved. Well, what is love? Love is when you care about the other person more than you do yourself. And so when you do these behaviors, you're showing the person that I'm stepping out of my day to be there for you. I am devoted to you and I want to make your happiness my happiness. That's not just right now, but that says, uh, eases your mind saying, okay, they're loving me. And if they're loving me now and they're doing out of their way to give me love, they're gonna love me tomorrow as well too. And that puts a heart at ease and can make happiness so much better. And one other key concept I wanna talk about in this whole, uh, whole discussion is intentionality, purposefulness. So many times we go through our life just letting your life toss us around. We just go through the day and we get done what we have to get done and we just try to survive and we try to get everything done and that's all we can do. But we're not being purposeful about our lives. We're not trying to do anything purposefully to accomplish certain extra things. Certainly you can make this argument just for our whole Christian walk. Are you going out of your way to serve God, to develop yourself, to grow for it? What does God want you to do above and beyond what you're already doing to serve Him better? Sir, so those are big issues of intentionality. But just in your marriage, what are you doing to make the marriage better? You have to try. There's you know, this old phrase of, you know, you always date your spouse. That's so true. You never stop trying to impress them, trying to get them to love you, try to give back to them. If you just go through the motions, think, okay, it's my partner, I've got her, she's not going anywhere, so I don't really have to try anymore. You're not, your love's gonna die and you're gonna be unhappy. So if you wanna be happy, make them happy. It just works. I know one thing I've been focused on, especially with kids and other people and my jobs and stuff, I've noticed that there are people who are really nice, good people. They're not bad, they wouldn't do anything mean to hurt you, but they don't ever, they're not thoughtful. They don't go out of their way to try to do something nice for the people around them. 
not that they don't care about the other people, they just don't think it. They're too busy in their own little world, living their own life, thinking, okay, what do I want to do today? What do I want to do? What can I do? What do I need to do? And they don't think about what can I give to be observant to the people around them. Say, what do they need? What does the person around me need? How can I make, make them happy? And you initiate the thought of helping them and loving them instead of just reacting when there's something else you have to do. You know, no one wants to give love because they have to give love. They want to because it's a free choice to love. And so when you look someone in the stop and you take the time to look in them in the eye and you touch, take the time to touch them and caress them, you're showing them that you are, that they are important to you and you're going to go out of your way to give them love. Nothing makes someone happier than that. I don't care if you're not the warm, fuzzy love person. You still need that little contact, a little bit of intention to let them know you're there. All right, there are so many more videos I want to make, make about marriages and relationships. There's so much good advice out there to be had, and it's a complex thing. And there's, even when you know what you're doing, marriage is always very tough. It's the most intimate and difficult relationship there is, but it's potentially the most rewarding relationship there is. So I hope to make more advice videos in the future. If you need personal help, Give me a call, look at my website, schedule an appointment, and sometimes it needs a lot more intentions, and especially in a marriage, uh, to work these things out. It's much more complicated, but I'm here for if you need me. Here's hoping and praying that you find peace in your storms. Bye-bye.